You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. And like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Wow, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Checks on your recruits, he seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, boss, oh, about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want.
of them. Yeah, I think so. Nice work. Come on, let's go deal with your man. That's his? He isn't my man. Not anymore. Whew, okay. Wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him? He won't know what hit him. Yeah, this is it. I can get in through here. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna... I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. I can use this. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey, come in. This is Corey. We're here, heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, Hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you passed. Oh, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover and advance tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. How about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So, maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago.
Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? <laughs> no, it means, um... Oh. Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw pipe? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon, I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I'm just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. So, you know, it's way past my bed. Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get over a little more. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so. It's nothing. It's just. Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. 
I see you were hitting again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone, and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. Did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little bangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Morier Invictus hmm. means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like, a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right, it's your that, ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. No, yeah, it's your room. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Drop. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. 
It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher, man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher, man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps were riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. The Almighty forgives yeah. this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What the? Ah. Fuck you! Get her out of here. Get Fuck out. you! Come on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn redneck asshole! Get off of me! <laughs> oh, swear to God. What about get you? Off me. Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. Oh, no. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. 
Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new Constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Oh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc. How is fit to serve? Lara bien. You doing runs out in the ship? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Mm. Uh, Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. <laughs>